Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all feeling amazing. Um, I personally felt a bit down the last couple of weeks. You know, sometimes life just kicks you right between your legs and that hurts. Uh, so to cheer myself up, I decided to make some really funky groovy pants um, made out of this shiny metal-y fabric. Um, this is a jersey fabric and I know this is not everyone's cup of tea but um, I mean you can make this out of any fabric, stretchy fabric, if you want. You can even make it out of a faux leather material. Um, so yeah, you can totally customize this if <laughs> glittery pink fabrics aren't your thing. So that's all right. To make my pattern I took a reference pair of pants um, and folded it in half and I started by tracing out um, and yeah by the way I had very big holes in my socks that day but I literally didn't care. So yeah um, you want to start with one side so I'm starting here with my back side of my pants and just tracing around it um, making it a bit bigger. Um, and then I folded my pair of pants the other way around um, so that I could trace the front side of my trousers, uh, my pants, because um, as you will see in a second, the crotch areas are a bit different um, when you're making pants because um, of course the back side um, must be a bit bigger to cover your butt. Um, and yeah, this is what I'm doing here. And this is what I was talking about. Um, this is the back pattern of my pants and this is the front pattern. And as you can see, the crotch areas are quite different. And here I'm just cutting out my fabric um, on the fold. And by the way, if you're sensitive to female nipples, I'm very sorry, you will see mine during the entire video because I was on my stronger days of my period and I had major hot and cold flashes. So um, this outfit, um, was the most comfortable one that day. So uh, yeah, if this is a problem for you, <laughs> go and watch another video. <laughs> and here I'm just sewing together with my serger my two front pieces and my two back pieces in the crotch area. Um, of course, right sides kissing. And yeah, this is what that looked like. And after that was done, I took my pieces and put them right sides kissing and aligned the crotch area, as you can see here, and I started to clip the pant legs together. Um, and first off, I sewed the entire inside of my pants. So I started on the bottom of one pant leg and went over the crotch area, as you can see here, um, until I reached the other end of my pant legs. So is that the right word? Pant legs? Yeah, I, I guess you know what I mean. So I just made a very long seam. And after that I went in and clipped the outside of my pants and again went over this with my serger. After that I went in and created a tuck and by the way this is the inspiration for this pair of pants if you're wondering. And I'm pretty sure that there's a more advanced, more professional way to create a tuck but I couldn't figure it out so I basically just took my fabric clips and clipped one straight line all along my pant legs. And um, yeah, this really worked. Um, after that I went in with my sewing machine, with a stretch needle of course and sewed very close to the edge, um, I'd say maybe two millimeters and um, yeah, really took my time here so I didn't mess this up and yeah, this really worked you guys. Um, I was quite proud of myself and um, yeah, after that I just turned my pants around, as you can see in a second here, I just turned them around and used the tuck on the front side as a reference for the tuck on the back side. And I know this sounds super messy, but um, it actually worked. It looks really good. So, um, yeah. Thank you. 
After that I went in and created my waistband and for that I took a very thick elastic and just had a look how long I need my elastic to be and after that I sewed the ends together with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. I just went in back and forth a couple of times um, to secure everything and to make sure that it um, <laughs> won't burst open after I try to pull my pants over my hips. So yeah, this, um, <laughs> this is very important. And after that I just went in with my um, fabric clips and clipped the elastic um, inside the pants as you can see here and I just secured it on the top and this is where I sewed everything together um, on the top with my serger um, as you can see in a second. And this is what I was talking about. I'm basically just sewing the elastic onto the top of the pants with my serger. I then folded the waistband in again, as you can see here, um, and clipped everything in place. And then what I did was I went over with my sewing machine um, over the existing seams of my pants, um, only in the waistband area, to secure everything. And you guys, this is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I personally, I'm ready for Coyote Ugly Remake Audition, so bye! Shining on a cloudy day And it don't matter what you say Cause even if the sky is falling I'ma do it anyway So save your worries, slide your loving I can't feel that good things coming Finally believe that it's gonna be a bright Tired of trying, forgetting every word that I said in all those old conversations that turn into a melody. I'll be waiting for all them days ahead of me. Those words that put me under are never coming back again. I like my beat with some soul, I like my girl with some heart. I only love with my home.